Good morning from Albania, Tirana, the capital of Albania. And I tell you what, if someone says to me, Ben, you've got to move to Albania, Tirana for three months, no questions asked, I'll be like, you know what? I'll take it. It's cheap, the food's great, and the people are lovely. In this video, I'm gonna show you how cheap my hotel room is here for 10 pound each a night with Kat. She's here still. I'm not included in the price. She's not included in the price, no, but I'm gonna show you how cheap it is here in Albania. So let me show you. Okay, Kat, do you wanna do the honors and show us around this lovely apartment for 10 pound each a night? Yep, yeah, let's do it, come around. Okay, where to first? This is the living room plus kitchen. There we go. And you have a table for your editing, which is <laughs> work a little bit. Yes. We pass for the beds and it's lovely. Wow. Wasn't expecting that, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> and then you have the closet that I just found yesterday. Yeah, we got even got a closet right here, look. Look at that, with a view of the streets and a mirror. And then you've got a balcony here as well. Look at this, with street view of Tirana. Got my clothes drying here. And there you go, what else do you need in life? Not much, I tell you. It's bloody boiling out here by the way, 37 degrees. And let's go back inside, let me show you the bathroom. Remember, £10 each night, you would not be paying this in England. Kat, where have you gone? I'm here, Sorry. Show us the bathroom please, my dear. Hold on, TV, TV, TV. I'm sorry. And then the bathroom, there we go. It's the bathroom. It's a beautiful bathroom as well. Aha, uh -huh. but there you go. That is... Our apartment here in Tirana. We've been here like three or four nights, £10 each a night. That would never be a thing in England. So, say if you need somewhere to live for a couple months, crack on some work, and you come for a place like England, why not come to Tirana, Albania? Great food, cheap prices, great people. You're probably thinking, bloody hell, Ben, you're sponsored by Albanian tourism or something. We're gonna get into that into a minute, but I'm certainly not, because I'm about to let loose on the negatives of this country. Anyway, let's explore Albania. We're gonna go get a cable car now to overlook the city. Kat, do you have any idea where it is? Somewhere 15 minutes away from the city, so we need to take a bus somewhere and then go. Okay. Kat's gonna lead the way and we are gonna go explore Tirana. Let's do this. All right then, we're in the main center of Tirana here. Let me give you a little tour. You've got the giant Albanian flag in the distance. It's bloody huge, but that's one of my favorite flags, by the way. It's up there with Uganda. It just looks so like hardcore. And when you've got a mosque in the distance, I didn't realize this, but Albania is predominantly a Muslim country. I might be wrong there, but do you know what it is? I think it's like yeah. 50%. I, I think it's more than that. Is it? Okay. Um, I think they are mostly Muslim, but they are very like, open minded because they have Christian as well. They do indeed. And um, you know, you see alcohol everywhere as well. So it's not the strictest Muslim country, but it is a Muslim country. Anyway, we're going to get to the cable car and hopefully go to the top of the mountain. How hot is this bus? How long are we on this? 15 minutes, it's so bloody hot. I'm gonna pass out. We've arrived, Cap. Thank God we're off that bus, I tell ya. Let's hope this cable car is not 50 degrees as well. Let's see how much the tickets are. Go and come back. Oh, to go and come back? Right then. Hello, sir. Return ticket, yes? Yeah. Return ticket, last one 6 30. Last one 6 30, thank you, my friend. Okay. The Albanians, are they getting in? Perfect. I thought the uh, family of Albanians were going to get in and I could just annoy them if I was doing a vlog. So it's me and you, car, alone in the cable car. Don't yeah. touch me. Keep your distance, all right? And we're off. Oh wow, you can feel the breeze coming through on the uh, roof here. Breeze. Lovely. Here we go. I have no idea how long this takes. Do you, Kat? No idea. I think it's one of the longest 
cable cars in the Balkans. Bloody hell, there you go then. I don't know if my camera can pick this up, but it's going right to the top of the mountains, it looks like, which is very far away. They're not bad, this. Nearly overlooking Tirana. Oh wow, we've got a nice pile of rubbish over there, lovely. Some guy pushing a wheelbarrow. There you go, life in Albania, Tirana. Right guys, as we travel up to the mountains of Tirana, I just want to explain my time in Albania. Um, mixed emotions really, I've had a great time, I highly recommend you come in. But in terms of tourism, like if you compare it to places like Greece, Italy, Croatia, which are all like neighboring countries, it feels like it's 30 years in the past. I've met tourists here as well and they all agree. Just simple things like um, transportation, getting around, it's an absolute nightmare. Like there's limited buses, there's like only one or two a day, it's at like 5 a.m. Cat, uh, what other things? SIM card, I think you said? Yeah, SIM card, scam. Yeah, we got uh, scam boys. And then our tour to Kamani Lake was an absolutely disaster. Okay. Yeah, so um, we got scammed by a SIM card, um, that was day one, uh, the lady did us over. I guess that's our fault, but pff, I don't know, whatever, so that was a scam. Uh, the tour yesterday in the video was a, well, I didn't feel most of it, because obviously I'm just trying to enjoy my time here, but it was an absolute disaster. Um, that was almost like a scam as well. But yeah, it's just little things like that they need to work on if they want tourism to be as high as like places like Greece, Italy, you know, because it's definitely got the potential. But yeah, I'm going to shut my mouth now and enjoy the rest of the day because I do like Albania. Highly recommend you come, but just be aware it's not on terms of like, you know, tourism when it compares to like Greece and the other countries which are close by. All right, let's enjoy the view. Here we go. Oh wow, a lake. Look at this. See, Albania's beautiful. Well, we survived, cat. <laughs> Whoa, maybe not, Jesus. Alright, let's have a little walk around and see what's up here. <laughs> wow, there's like a whole new world up here. Look at this. You've got hotels, you got archery for kids to play, you've got like horse riding in the distance, you've got cafes and restaurants, and you've even got an ice skating rink for the, for the winter. Obviously, it's not going to be happening now because it's 37 degrees. But there you go, you've got loads to do up here. Cat's just wandered off down here. Here we go, look at this, got a telescope. That has an incredible view, look at that. That is Tirana, ladies and gentlemen. I hope my camera picks it up. Ah, oh, that was worth it. That was worth the uh, I like it. trip. It's like it nice. All right then, that was a mountain view here in Tirana. We're now gonna head back down a cable car and I'm gonna show you what locals eat here in Albania. Some traditional cuisine, which goes back hundreds of years apparently. Some classic Albanian food. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. We are back in the center of Tirana, and as you can see, a lot more people are walking around now. When we were in the center before, it was completely dead because it was 37 degrees. But now the sun's going down, everyone comes out in the city to enjoy the fresh breeze flowing through the air in Tirana. Anyway, we're gonna get some local food, a couple beers. It's my last few hours here in Tirana. We're leaving tonight. I am heading to Iraq. Got 20 hour layover in Turkey. Yes, 20 hours. And Kat is going home, back to the UK. Wow, what a place. One of the most famous restaurants here in Albania. Oda Restaurant. Wow. Hello, brother. How are you? Where are we going? This is my type of place. The second I sat down, a waiter came over and said, where are you from? And I said, England. And he went, two beers on its way. Cheers, cat. That's my type of waiter and my type of place. And this beer cost two pound. In England, this would be at least six pound. So yeah, cheers. Oh, that is fantastic. I think it's refreshing. I'm sweating my teeth off. <laughs> it's so bloody hot, honestly. 
Wow, here we go, guys. We have got some sort of Albanian spinach pie. Cat, what's this? It's, it's like soup. meatballs? No, it's a soup, but I don't know how to say the name because it's bloody complicated. Albanian soup, let's just say that. And then we got some sort of rice balls in a distance. Let's get this served up and tuck in. What a meal. Okay, ladies first, how's the pie? So funny. <laughs> I can't cook. Can Come I? on, eat it. Cat's first to try the Albanian pie. Here we go. I'll be second. There you go, she likes it. Do I like it though? Let's find out. Mmm. 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 That's bloody good, that. Let's see if we're gonna like this soup. <laughs> yeah, up next though, we've got the rice ball. So let's try the rice ball. It's alright. That's not the best, I'll be honest, but it's alright. And the last thing we're going to try the is soup. the soup. So here we go, look at this soup. Some sort of creamy soup, I have no idea. And then this is apparently goat, I'm not too sure. Let's give it a blast. I this. You don't like it? No. It's a bit soapy, it tastes like soap, doesn't it? I don't know. Let me try the meat. So there we go, had some Albanian food, some Albanian beers, we're now going to head back, pack our bags, we are out of here. Next stop, Iraq for me, next stop, England for her. You enjoy. I'm absolutely shagged. I am shagged. Tell you what, I've, I reckon I've got about two years left in me of this backpack and bend bollocks and I'm sacking it off. It's not worth it. All this traveling is exhausting. But yeah, basically I left Albania last night at 2 a.m. and I arrived here where I am now in Istanbul at 4 a.m. I've just basically come to the hotel next to the airport and I've been sat here on the sofa for like 10 hours. I've still got about four hours left and then I'm gonna head to the airport and get on the plane to Iraq Baghdad. Never thought I'd be saying those words, Jesus. Going to Iraq Baghdad. Um, hopefully no issues at the airline. I mean, not a lot of foreigners are going there. So I'm hoping they just say, you know, get on the plane and off you go. And not like, do you have a sponsor letter? Do you have any like, I don't know, do you have your visa? You get your visa on arrival, mate. That's what I'll be saying to them if there's any issues. But um, yeah, a couple more hours here and then I'll see you guys at the airport for that Baghdad flight. Jesus. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Bin. I've arrived in Baghdad. I'm buzzing. It's four yeah, in the hello, morning. Mr. Bin. Yeah, hello, me and hello. This is Hussein. I've just met him at the airport. Very good. The uh, visa process, it was literally, yes. you pay $77 and you're straight in. No fannying around. And it was super friendly. They were like, welcome to Iraq, my friend. Enjoy your time here. And then Hussein here. This is taxi. And this is the taxi. Taxi. They basically offered to take me to the hotel. They were on the same flight as me. They see me and were like, where are you from? I said, England. They said, get in the car, we'll take you to your hotel. So uh, let's go, guys. Thanks so much. Yalla. Yalla Habibi. Yalla Habibi. Yalla Habibi. We are in Iraq. Come on. What a feeling. Come on, Mr. Ben. <laughs> Never thought I'd be arriving in Iraq at four in the morning. Pitch black. Well, I think we're going to the hotel. Hope you can see me, by the way. Yes, brother. Uh, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Yes. No problem, my friend. You guys do me a big favor here. Yes. I'm 
showing Hussein how I got it's laid in Hussein. Albania. <laughs> in hotel laid, of course. There we go. We're, tra we're changing cars in the middle of the road. What's going on? So this is your car now, yeah? This, 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 this car down here, okay. Yalla, yalla. So the taxi took us to these guys' car, and now we're getting in their car. They can take to your hotel. Forty. Forty. Forty years old. Oh, it's the car's forty. All right then. Ben. I'm not, I'm not afraid for a I I take you the sure. oh. <laughs> Legends. Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Hussein's got the moves. <laughs> Music Iraqi. Welcome to Iraq Baghdad. Come on. <laughs> Been driving for around half an hour. Right in the centre of Baghdad now. Look at this. There's people still around, walking the streets, 4 a.m. And we're like five, ten minutes from the hotel now. It's just up the road here. Hali, Hali. Saad al Hali. What do you say? This is hotel. We've arrived at Hotel Halley after a long time trying to find it, but we found it. This is Hotel Yeah, this is it. Guys, thank you so much. Shukran. Legends. Come on. I get my bag. Thank you. Yes, we see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow. Yes, guys, you're legends. I'm just going to go in and check yes. in and I'll drop me a WhatsApp message, okay? Uh, maybe you can communicate, just in case there's no English. Alright, the lads have officially left. I'm solo in Baghdad. This is a nice place, look at this. $40 a night. I'll get checked out in a room in a minute. But I am absolutely knackered, so I'll see you guys in a room. I am absolutely shagged. After two days of consecutive travel, hardly any sleep, we have finally arrived in Iraq, Baghdad. And I am buzzing, but I am knackered. It's coming up to half past five in the morning. I'm gonna end the video here and continue filming tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you my hotel room tomorrow as well, but let me give you a quick glimpse, $40 a night. That's what you get in Iraq, Baghdad. Can't complain. But uh, yeah, those guys, absolute legends. Basically, I met them when I was collecting my visa and I said, excuse me, how much is it for a taxi to the center? And they said, oh, mate, get in. And they drove half an hour out their way and spent ages trying to find this hotel. It's quite hard to find, but super friendly people. And I'm going to meet them tomorrow to get some food and local drinks. I don't know, um, but legends, absolute legends. So I'm going to end things here, guys. I'm absolutely shagged, honestly. I'm, I'm dying. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Welcome to Iraq Baghdad, come on.